had a dream. A dream. What kind of dream? Because I don't think Waka wants to hear about one kind of dream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I saw it again. You want to hear some real bullshit? Okay, so this what? is just like the starting of this game. And uh, here's a real fun fact. So this bit's skippable, right? Because obviously it's the, it's just the intro. Yeah. Uh, but how about I... Uh, oh, sorry. Before I do that, uh, we get to choose the standard or expert sphere grid. Ooh. I'm going to choose standard for this one. So you, I, I mean, I don't know how familiar you are with the sphere grid. I know a little bit. I played like I think like ten hours of this game, so I barely scratched the surface. Okay, so expert's fun because you can make like the fighting characters into mages and stuff, and the mages into fighting characters. But I don't want the run to be super scuffed out the gate. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair um, enough. But before we begin, Proto, and before you can talk about volleyballs, <laughs> I uh, I just want to say that the let's play starts now. Starts now. We're also playing with original soundtrack because the arranged soundtrack sucks donkey dick. All right, cool. So yeah, you have to watch it all over again. You can't skip this. <laughs> oh, mighty war happened here. You see the warrior's sword, staff, and blitzball. <laughs> hey, my like, if you don't want to be a blitzball when you grow up, you're doing something wrong in life. That's true. I when I. I never played this game um, until like after I graduated high school. And then I got the like HD remaster, and all I know about this game is my friends really loved the Blitzball element. Okay. And they talked about how they just wish they could just play a whole game of Blitzball, and they just wanted to uh, make a game that's all about Blitzball. And then I played this game, and I'm like, what is wrong with them? This sucks. <laughs> I've grown to appreciate Blitzball a little bit. Um, Final Fantasy X-2 actually has a better side game uh, than the main game. So I was thinking about this. There's a lot of parallels in the two LPs we're running right now. Uh, right. Both great games. No, both JRPGs with unskippable cutscenes. Uh, both which have sequels built on the same engine using the same assets as them. And uh, both with protagonists that get better in the sequel than the original. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know much about Ten Two. I know I, I really like how the job system works or whatever. Yeah, the dress very, spheres are cool. Yeah, it's very bravely defaulty. They also in the HD remaster fucked up Titus's face. Uh, he looks high as hell. Search like Titus PS2. He looks way better. They like gave him plastic surgery. It's fucked. Listen to my story. I looked up Titus PS2, and the first this thing that showed up was Robocop maybe our PS2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a D, not Titus. Oh, Titus. Well, it's okay. actually okay. Apparently, it's Titus, but I'm never gonna call him that as long as no. I live. Okay, I'm looking at it. Yeah, he looks much better in the original. That's so weird. It's fucked. They kind of fucked Yuna up as well. Everyone else looks great, but the pro tags, they... they I don't you know. You can only do so much with Waka. I mean, listen. All right. Uh, Can't make him any more beautiful. Exactly. You know, he's got that pure Aryan plot. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter's favorite character. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, welcome to Xanakind. Yeah, look at... See, this is when I think of Final Fantasy, I think of uh, <laughs> yellow cargo shorts and a crop top. Listen, man, this is the height of fashion. All right, don't be fucking dissing Zanuck and fashion. Uh, they all oh. look great. Oh yeah, the Ghost Kid is. Um... Oh boy, my favorite Zelda boss, the Ghost Kid. The Ghost Kid. It's that white kid from Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> the white, my favorite white boy. It's my favorite white boy. So we have oh a. Oh my god, it's Titus! We have an option here for our name input. We can either talk to the kids first, we can either talk to Pat, Wooly, and Liam first, <laughs> or we can talk to the sexy girls. Okay, um, let's talk to the kids. I don't. We're no harlots here. All right, fair. Titus is a pure, pure boy. He plays yellow decks. Can I talk? I, I think this is the kid, if I'm not mistaken. 
Oh no. Oh no, 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 it's a, it's a whole different thing. We can talk to these people though. You're not really encouraged to, but... It's very important. Yeah, it's it's a very important game tonight. It's very important. Let's talk to the so, wait, kids. people, they say it's tedious, but it's no like, problem. this is all about water, isn't it? That is exactly my fucking conclusion. So wouldn't tied us make sense, more sense? Exactly. That's That has been my, like, even, like, I, uh, the original PS2 version, I don't know if it's worldwide, but it definitely in Europe came with, like, a making of DVD. And they've got, like, James Arnold Taylor, and he's like, Tidus! And I'm not calling him Tidus. So I've been thinking about this for a couple of days while you've been in the woods. All right, yeah. And obviously, we're going to get to a certain point where we're going to encounter a pretty hardcore racist. Um, I didn't know Hunter was in this game, but... I'm so, exactly, I was thinking, what better companion <laughs> for the most racist character in Final Fantasy history uh, than, than Hunter? Oh, I love it. I love it. Alrighty. <laughs> Such a good My, name as well for like a Final Fantasy protagonist. Easy. It does, and he, he looks like a hunter too. He does. Uh, but I don't guess, worry. Like, he like we... high fives that kid with that gauntlet and just like shakes <laughs> his arm. <laughs> yeah, the big metal <laughs> gauntlet. Again, we have to talk about. I always thought it was dead cool because I'm fucking weird, but like the half jort. Uh, the the bracer over one arm, the hood, which looks like a drooping nutsack. Listen, man, I I know everyone wants me to make fun of it, but I, this is I love the Final Fantasy aesthetic. It looks stupid, but like cool at the same time. So. Right, exactly. It's like so dumb, but in the context, it works. Right, also, I love video games that have like interesting ways of you giving out your character name. Oh yeah, me too. Of it's course. so good. Although, interestingly, because this is, like, the last Final Fantasy game where you Nothing could name your about. protagonist, they never obviously oh, use his name, goal. in this game at least. Uh, so they just constantly will be like, Oren, Kimari, him, <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm like, I never really noticed it my first time playing it, but it's so funny. I want you to spray me, but not with the water. <laughs> with the... Juices? Alright, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> well, <laughs> I forgot about the fucking kid doing the dolphin <laughs> nose. <laughs> oh my god, he's. <laughs> Alright, kids. I got a game to play. Grab your joints. Let's go. Yo, bro, we're gonna teach you. Maybe tonight? Um, well. You can't tonight. <laughs> I mean, Alright. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Alright, all right, kid. That's his, that's his manager. He's like, Titus, baby, you got you got after bodies to Oh, what the <laughs> That's that's the blitz ball <laughs> signal. <laughs> hey man, get fucking used to that. That's through the whole game, baby. Oh that's like it's like in Sun and Moon where every time you walk up to someone they're like, Alola and they <laughs> do the whole thing and I'm like, Oh I hate you. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> So, this, like, one bit of Xanakund, I absolutely adore. Um, it's probably, like, the last time we're gonna be- well, I'll probably comment on maps every now and then, but it's, like, my favourite thing, because this is, like, early PS2, right? And there's, yeah. like, nine layers going on here. They've got, like, immediate 3D, background 3D, uh, uh, like, that water way. flowing, and then if you look, like, if you look really I far into the background, it's really gone. pretty, but, like, that those buildings in the background are straight-up PNGs. <laughs> my oh, my God, they are! I knew I it's like a PNG and then a fog yeah, layer that then a skybox. Un unplayable. <laughs> Disgusting. Turn it off, let me put on cyber sleep. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna run past it all, but this guy basically talks about how Jack is our dad, uh, he was or he was a big Blitzball star and then he went out to sea and never came back, and I guess we're okay too. <laughs> All right. The two teams that have won through to the. I knew that dude was his dad. I know. I know. I know a little bit about this. I think I know the like a big spoiler, but I won't say it. Um. Oh. I'm gonna be late. Yeah. So you have to like fight through the crowd. Hey, let go of me. But this is like again the last bastion of like old Final Fantasy where you've got all these big like JPEG backgrounds before they start going. I do love. I do love these looks. It's like that, like, Digimon World does it a similar thing as well, where you've got, like, 3D characters running around on the, sort of, 2D environments. It's very pretty. Yeah, I like it. Oh, here we go. Best cutscene in the game. Uh, My dude just J-O-ing. 
When you walk away, nah, dude. you will hear me say. Oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the full oh, fucking snap. metal track. Okay, I, I take it back. This game's amazing. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I'm ready for some bullets ball. Let's go. I remember, like, earlier than that, people insisted that Ramstein did this song. <laughs> I love me some butt rock, my guy. Fuck yeah, dude. But the vocals are like full on like... Another world awaits you. <laughs> is this ghost kid popping up or... No, I, uh, this is my favorite character in the game. Can we talk about uh, motherfuckers who wear their jackets wrong and how cool that is? It's it literally, you can, if you wear a jacket correctly... Bleh. Dumb. If you got your arms in your sleeves, but just the elbow, dude, you fuck. Exactly. Exactly. So nobody saw that big wave. <laughs> They're all, it's Blitzball is too important to all see the Blitzball. <laughs> also, something I kind of glossed over is the team we're playing against is called the Duggles. The Doggles? The Duggles. Duggles. <laughs> oh, man, when's Blitzball gonna be real? It's 2021, people. Right. We got the technology. I'd watch it. I wouldn't play it, but... Yeah, if, if someone told me they were running legitimate Blitz Bowl, first of all, just the sphere element I'd be impressed by. But there's no way I wouldn't watch at least one game. Exactly. I feel like that's probably a thing that people did in like 2002. It was like go to swimming pools with volleyballs. And like oh my god, Play yeah, Blitz Bowl. Just... I used to do that with my sisters, but we'd play Quidditch in the pool. Oh, wow. Uh, just to show you how much I was pulling. Listen, man, I don't have any siblings, so I didn't do lame shit like that. I just pretended I was Neo and ran along the walls. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got the cool slow motion effect, but you got to stay on your side for ages. One time, uh, one of our, one of my neighbors uh, ran over to my <laughs> to my yard because me and my sister were playing Pokemon with each other, and we were throwing baseballs at each other <laughs> <laughs> trying to like capture Pokemon and she thought we were abusing each other <laughs> I'm just trying to catch a right time man oh no my sister's just being a fampy <laughs> my favorite Pokemon say that slow you fucking fampy stupid f all right shit's fucked do I wonder which way we're supposed to go oh well, I, I gotta get my ball! <laughs> it's really important to me. Oh, he knows this dude. Oh yeah, they, they, they've been what friends. Well, I guess like father figure, son figure. Oh, look at this motherfucker. Yo, you dead? <laughs> oh, I, th I thought he was like, uh, like doggy style. I thought that was his butt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, Jesus. Yo, this, this dude ready. Come on, go. Give it. He's, Give nah, it, man. Go. I, I've accepted my fate, bruh. Come on, can I? Come on, go. Yeah! Get out of the way! Local uh, Blitzball star causes multiple children to die in an accident. <laughs> he just, just keeps just standing moving. in front of them like a maniac. I love his little pocket he's got on the back of his shirt. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Zawardo! Zawardo! Stando power. This little kid is the first stand user we will fight in Final oh, Fantasy X. It begins. Oh, yeah. Don't cry. That's a recurring theme. Oh. Same. <laughs> yeah, man. His eyes are so bugged. Oh, my God. I, I know. Every time I see them, I'm just like... I need to, like, take, like, a cold shower afterwards. <laughs> I want to see if I can find a mod that makes his model hey, similar to wait. the PS2 one. Well, I'm sure that exists. Hey, not this way. Look, we all know Hunter and his best friend, Orin. Right. They just, they're just they inseparable. Orin exactly. stops him from saying racist <gasps> shit, you know. <laughs> I forgot his name was Hunter, so he <laughs> popped up again. And I just, oh, that's going to kill me. Once we, when we, like, break this session and go into the next one, and when it pops up. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And Hunter's gotta fight Sin? Oh, baby. Right. 
which ironically is a thing he loves. Hunter really loves to sin. He does. He said. He says it's not a sin because his Lord and Savior Jesus Christ accepts him no matter what. But oh, I don't know where I was going. I just <laughs> you got shocked by all the uh, sin spell. Yeah. But every time you um, every time you whack it, one of these guys pops up. So. <laughs> every time you whack it, one of these dudes pops out your dick. <laughs> exactly, because they're a sin spawn. <laughs> <laughs> this is all the sex education I need. So I really like this sword, but this is your like temporary sword until you get like the Buster Sword equivalent of this game. Right. You can I... still use it, but it's like. <sighs> There's a lot of swords. I, I will often in JRPGs keep a better looking sword than a better stat sword. Right. <laughs> Which is tough in FF7 Remake, because the best looking sword is the Buster Sword. Ah. Uh, okay, this, this fight's pretty easy. Cut yeah. through. Cut through. Bang. Bang. Oh yeah, overkill's a really cool feature. You get more uh, XP and like, limit bar if you massively overkill a monster. That's really neat. Yeah, which makes like fighting slightly weaker enemies a lot more fun, because you're just like, ah, I overkilled everyone. I I really liked the battle system of this game. I I, I had sorry, I had a lot of fun. It was just that one puzzle. I just I could not get past it. Yeah, man. The even now, like I will struggle with a couple of. I think I'm usually fine. Like obviously the secrets. I usually consult a guide because there's a secret chest or two in every trial. Uh, but the only one that I need a guide for to this day is Bavel Temple, which oh fuck when we get there it is um. Probably fine, actually, but it's just so annoying. Listen, if it is it a Final Fantasy game, if it isn't like amazing except for one <laughs> annoying little aspect, right? Um, but yeah, the battle system I think is my favorite, like in JRPG history. I think it's the perfect, like turn-based at least, because um, it's it just has it. Like it's got like. Um, Get out of you can see it, like, the turn of order system to in Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Mm -hmm. like, the haste system is super cool, because if you cast haste, you get two goes. Ooh, which is really nice. Haste is actually good. Yeah. Uh, so we have to overdrive here. Also, I like that everyone's finishes require different button inputs. It's so... that I love those... It's, it reminds me of... Uh, <laughs> it reminds me of Barkley Shut Up and Jam. Yes, dude, exactly. Oh, man. Space Jam 2 got uh, revealed today. Like, oh, oh shit. I forgot about that. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I'm distracted. Oh, that was uh, yeah, I think they're I think they dead anyway. Yeah. And now, from this point on, you can't lose this fight. Oh, okay. Uh, the boss only That's ever good. casts Demi, which only ever does a portion of your health, like a percentage. Oh, alright. So it looks powerful, but then you're like, just kidding. Right. Tutorial boss <laughs> all the way. <laughs> And then meanwhile, you know what? The, uh, another parallel from Cyber Sleuth, the first boss you fight is a weird tentacle thing. Oh, yeah. Huh. Although right. Cyber Sleuth, it's unbeatable. Great! I fucked up Orin's because I haven't played this on a 360 pad ever. So I was like, uh, A, uh, B, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's my X's and circles. Well, you know what they say. X's and uh-oh's, they haunt me. Right. When I was working for the government, the only, like, bit of happiness we were allowed in that job was listening to the radio via the browser, and the only radio station I liked would play that X's and O's song over and over again. <laughs> and I like how uh, Marshall and Ted go through the 500 mile stages over and over again, from, like, hating it to loving it to hating it to loving it. That was me with that oh song. Oh my god. I... I'm so happy you said you use that exact uh, reference because it's it works so well. It's so good. There's a song like that at work uh, that plays at my job. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I used to hate it. Oh, it was um, "How You Remind Me" by Nickelback. <laughs> I used to hate that song, but it plays like I swear to God, like three times a day. 
while I'm at work. And every time, it, <laughs> first time I was like, whatever. Ugh. 20th, 5th time, I was like, never made it as a blind yeah, man. <laughs> never made it as a poor man. Stealing and it, yeah, you remind me. Listen, man, some things are just <laughs> bops for a reason. <laughs> Can you move or? Oh yeah, sorry. I was just checking. Okay. A, uh... I just I just thought it was funny if it was a cutscene and Orin is just like, <laughs> peace. And you're just stuck there. Okay, so here's the save point. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, so on the PS4 version, which is one I've played the most of recently, it obviously like diverts to the standard PS4 save menu. Yeah, which is awful. Yeah, but the original version of this game had it obviously quite similar to this, but it was so good. One of my favorite loading... Oh, hold on, actually. Where are we up to? Yeah, that's fine. I always try and save on round numbers if I can. Because <laughs> I have brain problems. It's okay. I my As you've probably seen from the CyberSuit playthrough, my thing is saving 800 times just to yeah, double check. I will. Uh, like, this, there's no point. But at this point, you can't do anything uh, different. But as soon as we get to the uh, next save point, probably, I'll start rotating. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, Sin Spawn is uh, hardcore. They just keep coming. I like their little, like, jig they do. They're like, <laughs> coming. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. I keep thinking the little orange bar is your health, but that's your overdrive <laughs> that bar, is our isn't overdrive, it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was like, heal, heal. <laughs> so you want to take out the ones that flicker first, because they send out like a big attack. Aha. Uh -huh. But I also like, like, bear in mind, the since I'm, I'm gonna be right, really, I'm gonna try and get into the mood of taking the piss, but I'm just like, oh, I love this game. Um, like every sin spawn enemy is all part of sin, obviously. So like, I like that from one monster, you can have like these, you can have the tentacles, you can have Sin himself, there's like a bunch of other stuff. And then on top of that, there's also like random encounter enemies. Mm. This could be bad. It, it sure could, could Oren. That, knock it down. I was just about to ask, can you attack that thing? It looks like you're supposed to attack <laughs> it. <laughs> hey man, this big purple electric thing, do you think we should attack it, Oren? Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Two minutes later, hey, attack that! <laughs> That's what frustrates me is like battles like this. Like, thankfully, it doesn't take too long, but you gotta hit for like two turns before you're even allowed to select it as an option. Mm. Oh yeah, I, I I don't particularly care for stuff like that in games where it's like I know what I have to do, just let me do it, just and it's like me. no, you gotta find it first. And there we go. There's a lot of moments like that in. Uh, Mega Man Battle Network, and it is infuriating. It sucks. I don't think there's too many of those. Like, the only times that you really get them are when you're introduced to, like, a new mechanic. Um, but it's usually there's, pretty good. In a lot of RPGs, it's never too bad, but there's some games where it's just like, let me go. Yeah, I'm trying to like you. Stop making it worse for me. <laughs> I just love how Titus, our hunter, jump so dramatically and Oren is just like yeah. I'm just gonna shuffle also fucking look at this jump dude he could do a chaos dunk if he wanted to I believe I can fly oh, wait, and nope, into can't. FMV Oren <laughs> just steps on his hand long live the king so long fucker so long gay bowser also once you see this as a giant butthole uh, <laughs> I just was about to say. <laughs> like, cool, man. Huge enemy. That's awesome. Big old kaiju. That's fucking sick, dude. Oh, he's got a giant ball that he's gonna suck me up through. Ah! Oren! Is it weird that this is turning me on? <laughs> I'm kinda hard right now. Yeah, no, God's poking me. <laughs> You're hung like a horse, aren't you? <laughs> God damn, no wonder you're the star player. Jesus. I use it as a rudder! <laughs> also, you may notice that Titus gets way more tanned in the FMVs <laughs> than he is in his model. Like, he's kind of tanned. But his FMV That's why model... Waka, when he first shows up, Waka's like, hey, 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 hey. well, you one of them, I'll bed with a hard H. <laughs> Who is calling me? Hey. Hold on. This part of the LP brought to you, bro. 
They hung up on me. God damn it, dude. It was it was Waka. It was Waka. <laughs> He's like, hey, brother. You better not be hanging out with no just, all bad, eh? I was just going to let it go in case it was like a, like a spam call that I was afraid it was going to be like my work. And then I'd be like, hello. <laughs> sorry, like, I wasn't. Yeah, you, are, you are fired. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't answer the phone. I was too busy talking about Final Fantasy X racism. Yeah. Oh, he's just standing there. Oh, it's dad. It is dad. And now it's us. Oh, it's that, it's that little kid from Kingdom Hearts. I thought about a lot of things. Like, where I was, what I got myself into. Yeah, dude, you did this all yourself. It wasn't remotely Oren's fault. And then, yeah. sleepy. Sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream. What kind of dream? Because I don't think Waka wants to hear about one kind of dream. 